Hey there, Ryan with I Am Minnesota Nice. I'm here with Chris from homelesshealthnetwork.org. Correct. That's right. Um, what, what he's doing is he's putting on a little water drive, trying to get some water, bring it to the homeless people. So let's just ask him what's going on. Well, uh, Ryan, basically I decided uh, about three weeks ago that I wanted to uh, do something to help immediately after I had started this organization and, uh, first of all, the website, uh, homelesshelpnetwork.org. Uh, I wanted to, uh, although it's going to take a long time to, to kind of build up things and, and uh, you know, create uh, what I really wanted to do long term, in the short term, I thought it would be a good idea because of the, um, the season that we're in, the hottest months, um, and I know um, from doing some research that other cities in the country that have started up water drives as yeah. well for the people that don't have shelter. So I thought it would be a good timing to do that. And uh, basically just, a, it was a spur of the moment idea. Sure. And basically just used my website and uh, Twitter okay. as a way to reach out to people. So now you, you're just the website. I mean, you're driving people from Twitter basically over to the website then. Correct. That's basically it. Um, and I'm sure there's there, there's others that have found this, and it'll get uh, it'll get more and more as the weeks progress. But it's basically been uh, just through Twitter so yeah. far. So you've you've done this for three weeks now. Correct. And how many cases of water have you have you gotten so far? Well, the the uh, the drive ended uh, on Saturday, and we came up with a total of 132 cases of water, and I believe it's 162. Reusable water bottles. Water bottles so that they can just fill it up there. Exactly. And yeah. go. Because a lot of times when you're out on the street, um, and, and what I really wanted to make sure was that I got these donations to shelters that house people at night, but then those people um, have to leave at sure, yeah. 7 in the morning and they're out for the day. Is that the way most shelters work? I mean, do they come there just to have a safe place at night and then they kind of go out? Well, no. Um, there are some where people have, um, you know, facilities there for 24 hours a day. It it's, may not be a permanent shelter, although there are some yeah. that, when I say permanent, maybe they might stay there for six months or something. But um, some shelters downtown um, just allow people to stay overnight yeah. and then they're, you know, yeah. put out of the street. So the ones you're focusing on are the ones that, that they don't really have a place for them during the day, but just, exactly. have, just a bed or something like that at night. Right, exactly. And those are the people that, uh, you know, are forced to, to hit the streets again in the morning and spend uh, the whole day outside. Yeah. And uh, I know, for example, myself, um, you know, being homeless, but at least having a car, yeah. um, I have a place that I can call my, my home, <laughs> sure, you know, 24 yeah. hours a day. Although it's a car, it's still something. And a lot of these people don't have anything. They'll, they'll sit on a, a bench, uh, you know, on the concrete, right, whatever yeah. else, right. and it's hot out there, and especially the if they're down, yeah, yeah, and especially if they're downtown Minneapolis or St. Paul, sure. the hottest place in the Twin Cities is right downtown yeah, down, with yeah. all the concrete. So. so now you yourself are homeless? Correct. I've been homeless since uh, early this year. Okay. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more about that at all? Well, basically it just uh, was a situation that uh, kind of progressed uh, from the fact that the economy is was in free fall. Yep. Um, and also the fact that my industry has kind of shrunk, which yeah. is kind of uh, print and, and publishing uh, and advertising. And right. thirdly, um, I think my age has, has been a deterrent yeah. for yeah, me. Not. Um, yeah, I'm not a spring chicken, I guess. <laughs> and the only people that are getting hired are in their 20s and 30s right now, unfortunately. I guess having experience um, isn't... Uh, isn't that great <laughs> as it used to be? I think people want to hire people that are inexperienced, I guess. Sure. But um, I think those three things, and I call it the perfect storm, just yeah. came together at once. And, uh, you know, our, over the course of three years of going through my life savings and then having to sell my home yep. and then living off the proceeds from that and then having to sell some cars and stocks and yep. eventually, um, you know, everything dries up. Mm -hmm. and, I didn't have anywhere to go, and uh, so, that's, so that's what happened. So even to your position right now, I mean, you don't you don't have a house to go to. You, you kind of you're dealing with your car. You're doing the best you can. 
even through all that, you're still trying to help other people. You're trying to get things going for other people. Well, yeah, uh, I, you know, it, part of it is due to the, the fact that, that I, since becoming homeless, I, 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 I just, you know, after a while you get really sick and, and very frustrated um, looking for work and, yeah. and nothing happening. So I found myself doing more and more research about homelessness, not only here in town, but throughout the country yeah. and, and, and found out that there's so many people out there that have become homeless in the last two, three, four years, and what I call the new homeless, which are, in essence, people that have worked all their life, but for whatever reason now, um, are, are out on the streets because of either a whole foreclosure, a job sure. loss, yeah. maybe uh, medical bills that have piled up, yeah. or a forced bankruptcy, whatever the case, these are hardworking people, yeah. and uh, all of a sudden they're out in the streets, and so I wanted to uh, do my part in help, but then I decided, well, you know what, so somebody wants to hire me, why don't I create this organization and uh, see if I can help uh, from that standpoint, and, and the first thing I wanted to do is this water drop, so. Yeah, get it started. Exactly, so. Well, I appreciate it, thank you for being here. You bet. Um, thanks for your help in, uh, yeah, today. Yeah, we're, we're driving around, I'll get some pictures, I'll put your, uh, your website up on the site too, so that everything's ready.